In this video, we are going to go over what a theorem is and how to prove a conjecture. But before we jump into that, let's go over another postulate. This will be the segment addition postulate. So the segment addition postulate, or P8, says that if B is between A and C, then AB plus BC equals AC. Also, if AB plus BC equals AC, then B is between AC. And if you remember when we went over between this, if we were to have a line, you can see that if B falls between A and C, then the measure of this segment plus the measure of the BC segment equals the measure of the entire segment. And that is what this postulate is saying up here. If B is between A and C, then AB plus BC equals AC, or if AB plus BC already equals AC, then B has got to be between A and C. So a theorem is a conjecture or a statement that is proven or shown to be true. But how do you prove or show that that conjecture is true? That's where proof comes into play. So a proof is a logical argument that uses definitions, postulates, and previously proved theorems. So now we're going to talk about one form of a proof. So a paragraph or informal proof explains why a conjecture is true for a certain situation or a given situation in the form of a written paragraph. But how do we even start to make that proof? Well, here's five simple tips to help you formulate a proof. Step one, most books will say state the theorem or conjecture that is to be proven. And most times that's given to you what you need to prove. But I think more so than stating it, you need to understand that theorem or conjecture. So understanding the theorem or conjecture to be proven is step one. Step two, you're going to want to list the given information. So list what the problem gives you. The next step, step three, is if possible, we're going to want to illustrate that given information in a picture or a diagram. So illustrate that given information if possible. Our fourth step is to state what needs to be proven. And finally, number five, develop the steps. So understand the theorem or conjecture to be proven. Two, list the given information, illustrate the given information, state what needs to be proven, and then develop those steps. And developing the steps really vary depending on what you're trying to prove and your favorite method for developing those steps. So now let's utilize these steps and do our first proof. Here's our problem. A line is formed such that B is between A and C and AB equals 5 and BC equals 7. Prove that AC equals 12. So the first thing we're going to do is understand the theorem or conjecture that is to be proven. So what we need to prove is that AC is equal to 12. And that's easy enough to understand because 12 is the measurement of a segment a, C. So we need to prove that that measure is 12. Now our next step number two, list the given. 
So given, we're given that B is between A and C because it says that a line was formed such that B was between A and C. So B is between A and C. We're also given that AB equals 5 and BC equals 7. And that's all the given information that we have. Next, you want to illustrate the given information, if possible. A line is formed such that B is between A and C, so all the points are collinear. We have A, B is between them, and then C, and we have that AB is equal to 5, and BC equals 7. So that's just a quick sketch of the given information. Now, we need to state what needs to be proven or true. So prove AC equals 12. So we're proving that AC equals 12. Now, we're going to develop the steps. How do you think we're going to go from this given information to the statement or conjecture that needs to be proved? In the very beginning of this video, we went over a postulate. It was the segment addition postulate, and that's going to be used to prove this statement. We're doing an informal proof, so we're going to write in paragraph form our proof, and that's where we're going to write all the steps that we do to prove that. So number five, developing the steps. So first we have, since that B, our given information, is between A and C, from P8, which was the segment addition postulate, I just wrote P8 here so I didn't have to write out all the words, then we have that AB plus BC equals AC. And the postulate was that if B is between A and C, then AB plus BC equals AC. And a postulate is true, so it is safe to assume that since B is between a and C in this problem, AB plus BC is equal to AC. And remember what we're trying to prove is that AC is equal to 12. And we're given that AB and BC are both a certain measure. So now we just have to see if those are equal to that 12. So we know So since we know that AB equals 5 and BC equals 7, so 5 plus 7 equals AC. Using this segment postulate AB plus BC equals AC, therefore AC equals 12 because 5 plus 7 equals 12. So our proof is this paragraph below where we listed what was given, what was illustrated, and what needed to be proved, this is where we developed our steps and made our proof. This was just a quick introduction into proofs and we're going to be using them a lot in the rest of this video series.